Ah, your track is back there. Your track is back. Whoa! Whoa! Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we are going to be jumping into the OG Truck Night in America map to run, because I haven't been here in a, in, in a good while, and I really wanted to come back and, uh, and see how these tracked vehicles would do against each other. Now, I recently checked out the bulldozer on the left-hand side, and it sort of piqued my interest into tracked vehicles in Mudrunner, and I was like, hmm... What if I take these things to truck night and just see what happens? So, I'll explain to you guys what we... Wow, once I get the camera under control. I'll explain to you guys what we have. We have a tracked van. We have this, uh, this tractor-looking thing here. And then we have a dozer. Now, these three are all going to get their own chance to run down the truck night map. I'm actually going to be starting in the van... And it should be very, very interesting to see what happens. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Three, two, one, go. It's not the fastest thing. Oh, God. Well, something tripped it up a bit. Come on. There you go. Now, actually, the cool thing about it is that those sticks down there do actually move. I, I, I did not think they would, but they actually do. Now... These vehicles all have fairly decent track mechanisms. I definitely think that the the one on the dozer is probably the best. Although, so far, I mean, this thing is doing really well through the mud. I mean, I got it pinned in automatic mode, and it's just going. It might not be the most, the most dramatic about how it does these things, but it does get through. Uh, so far, it's gotten through everything I've thrown at it. So let's see how it does getting up the concrete. Wow! It did not... Oh! Whoa, um... Ah, uh, your track is back there! Your track is back... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Okay! So I'd say its turn is over now, and uh, it's definitely the turn of the TT4. Now, the TT4 is basically just, like I said before, just a big tractor, and I'm really hoping that it does It's also very slow off the line. Um, you can actually, if you get off the line, put it in high, and then put it back into automatic, you can go from, like, first to sixth to seventh, and then you're at max speed, but... Uh, that's not something that I was expecting to... Oh, Jesus. There's pieces of it all over the screen. Bro, that's never happened to me before. Like, it just exploded. It actually exploded. I don't know what else to say it did, because it actually legitimately exploded. Like... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I just don't know how to put that into, like, words, other than it exploded. Um, I think the actual truck is under the ground, if I'm not... Uh-oh. Ooh, I don't think we're getting up that, that concrete block. I doubt it. Uh... I mean, we might be able to sort of cheat the approach angle a little bit, and use that to our advantage, but... The thing is, when you lock the diff, it forces you to go straight again, so it's kind of hard to make that work. Yeah, we're probably just going to have to skate our way around the edge here and just kind of hope for the best. There are pieces of that everywhere. That is, that's actually not going to lie, scaring the crap out of me, because I'm really worried that, uh-oh, I'm really worried that when we get, uh-oh, 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 oh, well, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, they all disappeared. Oh my god, they all disappeared! There's something up there in the sky. I just don't know what it is. It caved in all of the ground on that first hill. It caved in all of it. So wild and wacky, I have no idea what that was. I'm assuming that the model just got outside of its, like... Basically, sort of, I, I, I could be completely wrong on this, but I'm assuming that the model just kind of got outside of the area that it was designed to be in, or, like, the constraint that it was designed to be in, 
and didn't know where to go until it went nuts um, and pretty much just like exploded everywhere as an object. I, uh, I've got no other real explanation for that other than the fact that it, um, <laughs> other than the fact that it's oofed, bud. And while this thing might be slow, it's actually... Oh my god, that's too slow. I'm gonna put it in high. I can't stand going that slow. Like, while this thing is... Oh god, what the heck was that? Anytime you hit a bump, it completely ruins your, like... If you're going straight, and you're... And you've got all the, like, you've got the diff locked and everything. If you hit a bump, and that throws off your, like, you know, your direction that you're going... That you're like the, the direction you're trying to go is ruined. Now, since this is OG Truck Night, we are gonna do it. We are gonna do it the right way, and we're gonna pick up one of these F-150s. Now, are we gonna like put it on the back or anything? No, but come on. So I don't have to see starting engine over and over and over and over and over and over again. Let's back up real quick. And then we're gonna take off. We're gonna throw it in high and take off. Come on. There we go. And that's actually pretty reliable. Alright, that's pretty reliable. Now it was these ups and downs that seem to have caused the van to lose a track. So I'll, we'll see if they if that causes this to lose a track. I don't think it will because it hasn't shown any signs of losing a track yet, so. Third and sixth. I was going to say, it should just go right up to seventh. All right, water obstacle. This thing might be slow, but she's getting the job done. Let's see if it comes out of seventh gear in the water. I've got it planted. Foot on the floor planted. Oh, 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 oh. Not even the hill. Wow. It Like I said, it might be slow, but man, it's a tank. Almost literally. Almost literally. Oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, it almost lost a track there. It came real close to losing a track. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I just realized we don't... We don't need to be hauling the F-150 anymore. Let's make this thing turn just a tad. Oh, I locked the diff back up, but I don't know if that's gonna... Oh, no, we lost a track! Oh, God! Oh, there could be another explosion coming. Oh, God. Bro, bro, are y'all prepared? There's potentially another explosion in the works, and this one might be even crazier. We can't really back up. Yeah, we can't really back up. I mean, I suppose we could, but it's not going to be the most advantageous strategy. Um... Oh, God. Oh, boy. This is going to be bad. Oh, we broke it. We broke it. Oh, my God. We broke the tree. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, my God! Um, I can't see anything or do anything or like I don't even think the other dozer is going to be able to make a run at this point we're still going we're still going I'm really surprised the game hasn't crashed yet wherever this thing comes to rest it is going to like wreak havoc on the rest of the map oh my god oh my god oh my god okay well that's where it came to rest, I guess. Oh, my God. Well, there's one left. Question is, will it meet the same fate? Because I don't know. I really don't know. All right, Dozer, don't let me down. Don't lose a track on me. Don't lose a track on me and end up in the same scenario as the other two. Oh my god, I genuinely thought the game was crashing. I like I thought it was gonna go down. I thought there was literally no way, no legitimate way that we were gonna be able to keep the game running 
after that happened. Because, like, y'all saw, it was starting to get bad. I mean, like, the game was starting to hang up. It was starting to glitch out. I mean, oh, there's still some pieces of that vehicle around here. Keep that diff locked. Keep it locked. Keep it locked. Come on, let's go. Come on. Easy does it. It's it's actually like part one of the biggest parts of the strategy is just like unlocking and locking the diff, like unlocking and then locking and then unlocking and then unlock it or unlocking and then locking and then unlocking and then locking again. Sorry, that for some reason like jumbled my brain because I think I was saying it backwards of the way that I thought it in my head. But now we can go ahead and hitch ourselves up to one of these F-150s, one of these here F-150s, and shouldn't be too bad. I want to say that the F-150 is probably the least of this thing's concerns. Uh, oh, what? No, no winch points. None on the rear? Are you serious? Actually, I wonder if it's something you can add. Because I think you might be able to add a hook. Let's try that, and then let's see if that becomes a winch point. Yep, it does. I was thinking it might do something like that. Like it's um it's it's kind of it's kind of a weird thing, but sometimes vehicles do so, like do things like that like where you have to install a winch point yourself. Um they don't all do it. It's not super common, but sometimes that does happen. All right, come on Dozer, you're the last one to not lose a track and throw the entire like situation into chaos. Oh my god, look there's pieces of it. All over the sky, there's pieces of it. Holy, like, holy cow. All right, let's see if you'll stay in automatic mode all the way through the water. It probably will. Yep, it did. All right, now. Let's get rid of that F-150. Oh, my God. All I'm seeing is pieces of the tracks. Uh-oh. We're going to have to take that hook off now. That hook is going to hurt. That hook is going to hurt our progress really bad. Because it kills our departure angle. Trying to get this in the right position. And then hit the diff lock again. Unlock. Lock. Like I said, it's a back and forth, man. It's lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Uh-oh. It almost, it almost came off right there. Uh oh. Yo, one of my tracks is stuck. Or at least it was stuck. It was like slipping. Come on, there you go. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, here we go. It's coming. It's gonna happen. Oh! Wow, that was a hell of a lot less violent than the other one was. Oh no, the other one came off too. Oh my god! Oh my god! Here, I wonder if... I wonder if this will cause one more explosion to happen. Oh yeah, it's gonna... Oh god, it's gonna go bad. It is gonna go bad. Oh my god, it's gonna go real bad. Oh! Yep, yep! Oh, Jesus! Oh my god! Whoa! Well, none of them were able to make it all the way. The engine stalled. Yeah, no, no joke. No, you sure about that? Oh, we're going to space. Oh, we've gone to space. Oh, we're back underground now. Good lord. I, well, I, 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 I don't think any of these are going to complete a full run. And uh, with that being said... I think it's time to end. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then uh, leave me a like. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you all next time uh, in a scenario where I'm not actually, like, flying around the map and glitching everything out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.